There's another fellow who worked on this slot with Judy, and some of MGM's best musicals are a direct result of his considerable talents. Gene Kelly. This is MGM's New York Street. And for as long as I can remember, this has been the busiest standing set on the whole back lot. Any actor or actress who made, let's say, more than one or two films at this studio, sooner or later, probably would find himself shooting a sequence here. Uh, which reminds me, if you're a song and dance man and you've spent some time in pictures, inevitably, some interviewer will ask, who was your favorite dancing partner? Was it Rita Hayworth or uh, Fair Allen or uh, Leslie Caron? But <laughs> if you're smart, you'll never give them a straight answer. Well, I'm going to break that rule right now. It, it may not be gallant, but I'd like to show you the greatest partner I've ever danced with. When you dance with Fred Astaire, you really have to be on your toes. This number from Ziegfeld Follies was the only time we've had a chance to work together. But I'd change my name to Ginger if we could do it again. has been the tops in every field of show business he ever entered. And the motion picture musical owes him a great deal. The way you wear your hat The way you sip your tea The memory of all that No, no, they can't take that away from me The way your smile just be the way you sing off key the way you haunt my dreams no no they can't take that away from me when he starred in a series of musicals with ginger rogers they quickly became the most popular dance team in the history of motion pictures but for fred as an individual, it was only the beginning of a screen career that would delight several generations of moviegoers. Fred Astaire's trademark would become the top hat and tails. He wore the outfit in his very first film appearance, Dancing Lady with Joan Crawford. Oh, 
have to change my plan I should have realized there'd be another man Jack Buchanan, the debonair British musical star, joined Fred in the bandwagon. Until the big affair began Before I knew where I was at I found myself up on the shelf And that was that I tried to reach the moon But when I got there All that I could get was the air My feet are back upon the ground I've lost the one girl I found But besides elegance, there's a lot more to the Astaire style Fred was constantly striving for perfection Rehearsing hour after hour, searching for a new step or a new device that would bring something fresh to each of his numbers. Because of his ingenuity and precision, audiences never realized how much incredible effort Fred poured into his work. He made it all appear so easy. In Royal Wedding, Fred danced with a hat rack. And, as usual, he made his partner look good. Barclays of Broadway, Fred and choreographer Hermes Pan conceived the brilliant Shoes with Wings On number. Stanley Donnan collaborated on this mind-boggling routine from Royal Wedding. Movie buffs are still arguing about how it was done. Gimmicks Fred used were exciting and fun, but his talents were so extraordinary that you could easily get along without them. This is the stare I love to watch, with a lovely partner like Sid Charisse, a simple setting, a marvelous song by Howard Dietz and Arthur Schwartz. These are the only ingredients Fred would need to create a classic moment, dancing in the dark from the bandwagon.
Fred Astaire was and is a unique talent. There'll never be another like him. And that's what I love about our profession. Because every so often, an artist comes along who is impossible to compare with anyone else.